Hey friends, my name is Mark and I'm on the Angular team at Google. We talk a lot about Angular's productivity, so let's put it to the test. I'm going to build a web app with a dashboard UI and use the Angular CLI to make it all happen. Here's how the app will look. To install Angular, we'll use npm install-g Angular CLI. This command gives us access to the CLI and from there, we can use it to create new applications. I've already installed it on my computer, so let's get this party started by bootstrapping our application with the first of our productivity commands, ng-new. ng-new creates a default project structure and configures everything that we need to get a working app after this one command. Our application will be called Dashboard App. We have a default application created and we're ready to view it. Let's serve our app using ng-serve. This command starts a local development server we can use to run our applications in development mode. We can even add the HMR command to take advantage of hot module replacement. All right, we're up and running. Excellent. Let's clear out this generated content so we can add our own. We want our application to look good, and I know just the thing, Angular Material. Angular has some great integration with Material Design. We're going to add it to our application using the ng-add command. ng-add allows us to add packages to extend the functionality of our Angular applications. To make this happen, we use ng-add Angular Material. We'll choose a theme, say yes to typography, and we'll say yes to animations. We need our app to be crisp. Wait, I just added material to our application, but nothing's changed. Well, that's right, because we need to add some components. We need a navigation section and the dashboard section. In Angular, we break down our UI into components, so we'll add some components for both of these. Since I have access to Angular material, I'm going to use the CLI to generate them. First up, let's ask material to give us a navigation bar. We use the command ng-generate Angular Material Navigation, and I'll name it Navigation. That's going to create a new component and we'll go ahead and add it to our app. Wait, all of this comes from the generated code? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah friend, I am. Let's also add our dashboard and we're gonna take advantage of the CLI to generate that too. We can do that by using a similar command and instead just ask for a dashboard ng-generate angular material dashboard and I'll name this one dashboard as well. Let's include this component in the content section of our navigation component and we're done. We have the foundation of a dashboard application ready to go. Here's something else super cool. If you want to make sure that our application is fresh with the latest version of Angular, we just run ng-update. Our application is not running the latest version of Angular and the CLI gives us the exact commands to update our project. All right, we built an application and we are done. Wait, wait, what's that? So I'm getting some messages saying to prove that this is real and deploy the application. Now this can be done with Angular's first class support for Firebase. I'm gonna add the Firebase schematic to the dashboard app using the CLI then choose my project, and then we're going to deploy your application, no sweat. So let's run ng-add Angular Firebase. We'll select the project, ng-dashboard app, which I've already set up in the Firebase console. Next, we'll type ng-deploy, and this will deploy our application to the cloud, and we can visit the URL to confirm that our dashboard is live. How fun is that? Yeah, I know, I know, this is incredible. All right, friends, we've used the CLI to go from idea to app in record time. I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can build your next great project. Awesome, so I gotta run, but so do you. There's lots of cool stuff that you just learned, so um, yeah, go build great apps. Okay, bye.